Listen, uh, Alberta is in real trouble right now. We're in a deep recession that's being made worse by ideological policies by this NDP government, which got elected almost by accident uh, with two free enterprise parties splitting the vote right down the middle in the last election. And most free enterprise Albertans don't want to risk that a second time. Two recent polls indicate about 80% of Wild Rose and progressive conservative voters in Alberta would like to see them to come, come together in one party like we did federally back in 2003. Uh, there's three other uh, candidates running for the PC leadership. They're all good people uh, for whom I have respect, uh, but they have a different view. They think we should um, maintain the current uh, division in Alberta politics, and they're prepared to risk that second NDP term that I'm not prepared to risk. I guess I wanted to ask you, though, because I remember when I worked in Alberta, before the New Democratic Party formed the government in Alberta, political parties on the right definitely couldn't get on the same page. There were really deep division divisions. I'm sorry. What makes you think you can not just unite them and keep the right together, but you know, do that in order to win the provincial election? Well, things have changed pretty dramatically since the election of the NDP. It's really raised the stakes. Quite frankly, very few Albertans, and myself included, thought it was possible that the NDP could win, uh, which is in a way why they're called an, an accidental government. I mean, they won legitimately, but many people went to the polls uh, casting a protest vote, which they thought uh, was going to result maybe in a PC or Wild Rose minority. Never they thought of an NDP majority. But here we find ourselves with a government that just imposed the largest tax in Alberta history, uh, that has raised income and business and and provincial property taxes that are going to help uh, the federal liberals raise the payroll taxes, massive new regulations attacking entire industries. Uh, and, and all of this is adding fuel to the fire of one of the worst recessions in our history. So that's really concentrated people's attention. And secondly, uh, the Wild Rose and PC parties are actually uh, not separated on any policy issues any longer. They're voting together identically in Alberta's legislature 90% of the time. The other 10% are not major issues. They're voting for each other's amendments 100% of the the time and there's no major issue on which they disagree 80% of their grassroots say it's time to bury the hatchet we did it federally they've done it in Saskatchewan with the Saskatchewan party so I'm really proposing a kind of reconstitution of the coalition that existed here pretty successfully for decades under the leadership of people like Peter Lougheed and Ralph Klein before it fractured